In this video, we'll be going over a balanced binary tree. So given a binary tree, determine if it is high balanced. For this problem, a high balanced binary tree is defined as a binary tree in which the left and right subtree of every node differ in height by no more than one. So in our first example, we have the tree. So we're currently at three. The height of the left subtree is one, and then the height of the right subtree is two. Or this path two is also two. So the difference between the left and right subtree differs no more than one. But in our second example, we can see that in the second subtree, we only have one node. So the height of the right subtree is one, but the height of the left subtree is at most three. So three minus one is two, which is more than one. So it's not a balanced, it's not a balanced binary tree. So let's first go through the thought process. So we'll be implementing a recursive depth first search approach. For each of the node x, we will first want to recursively find the height of the left subtree. Then we will recursively find the height of the right subtree. Then we will check if our current subtree is a ba uh, is a balanced binary tree. So if left if the difference between left and right is greater than one then we know it is not a balanced binary tree but what if the current subtree is is not a binary binary tree we will need an indication to allow the parents node of x to know that we have found an invalid subtree, invalid binary subtree. What we can do is we can return an error code to the parent nodes. This error code will be integer.max value. It's just returning a very large value that is bigger than the tree or taller than the tree. But if the difference between the difference between left and right is less than or equal to one, then it is a valid um, it is a valid balanced binary tree. We will need to let the parent node of x. We need to let the parent node of x to know the height, the larger height between of the two subtrees, the larger height of the two subtrees. So we will need to let the parent know, we will, we will need to return the maximum value between the left and the right incremented by one, which accounts for the current node X. So let's, let's go do a pseudocode. So we'll implement a recursive deferred search approach. And what is the base? Uh, what parameters do we need? Will be node the current node we are visiting, and then what's the base case? If node is equal to null, then we can just give it a height of zero. So we're going to return zero for height. Then in each of the recursive call, recursively find the height of the left subtree. And then recursively find the height of the right subtree. And then if left or right is equal to integer.max value, that means there is an error in the subtree. So it's not a balanced binary subtree. So, or the difference or the absolute difference between left and right is greater than one, then we have an invalid, then we're invalid, so it's not gonna be a balanced binary subtree. So we're gonna return it the error code, integer.max value. Else we want to return the larger value between the two subtrees incremented by one to account for the current node. 
So plus one counts four. No, itself. And then after a recursive calls, if the recursive result is not equal to integer dot max value, we have a valid balance binding tree, so we can return true. Else, we're just going to return false. Now let's go over the time and space complexity. So the time complexity is O of n, where n is the number of nodes in the tree. O of n is visit each node once. And our space complexity is go to O of h, where h is the height of the tree. That will be our recursive call stack memory. Now let's go over the code. So we're going to return get height of roots not equal to integer dot max value. So if node is equal to node, then we have a height of zero. Then we'll first recursively find the height of the left subtree. And then recursively find the height of the right subtree. And then if left is equal to integer dot max value, or right is equal to integer dot max value, or the difference between the left and right is greater than one, greater than one, then we have an invalid subtree. So we're going to return integer dot max value, which is our error code. Else we're going to return the larger value between the two subtrees incremented by one to account for the current node. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below.